The real question here is can you have a good cloud computing career without coding knowledge? The simple answer is no. But the premise of this video is to give you guys an idea of which path to take in your cloud computing career so that you can keep the coding part to a minimum. Now that you know what you are in for, let us get into this video. But before that, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates. Also hit the like button if this video was helpful to you so that it will encourage us to make more videos like this. Now let us take a look at the agenda for today's video. Firstly, I'll be introducing how to get into cloud without any coding knowledge. I'll be uh, giving out few uh, tips and tricks on how to break into the cloud career followed by the traditional career paths that is followed in the cloud industry. And finally, I'll be giving out specific non-coding cloud roles. These roles will be very specific. Let's say the cloud administrator, cloud support, cloud consultant, etc. Alright, now that we know our agenda, let us move on to the first topic, introduction. There are three types of programmers out there. Hardcore coders whose primary responsibility is to deliver code. Then there are optional coders who code to enhance their primary responsibility. Their primary responsibility might be managing a team of developers. So coding comes as an option to them to enhance their career. If they know coding, they can help other teammates as well as improve their own career. And finally, there are hello world coders who need not code for their primary responsibility. They just code for their own curiosity. So where you fall under this is the third type, which is the hello world coders who don't like to code in their careers. Now, is there room for these type of uh, people in the cloud domain? There are plenty of roles that do not require coding like the cloud support, cloud consultant and cloud admin. Now let us take a look at them in the further slides. All right, the next topic is the different career paths in cloud or let's say the traditional career paths that was followed in the cloud domain. At the very high level, there are three career paths that are available in cloud computing. There are other niche areas like machine learning or data analytics as well. But these three are the main ones. Now let us see what the main ones are. First, we have cloud development. So they are involved in developing cloud services. Cloud providers will provide their own IDE usually and you will have to develop and maintain cloud services on that IDE. You will also have to use native services as well. Next, we have cloud operations. So a person in the cloud operations role will be held responsible for the logging and monitoring of services. He will also be maintaining the continuous integration and continuous development pipelines, making sure that developers have a good experience in pushing code. Next, we have the cloud architect role which is a very uh, senior most role. Their role is to design an application or a solution completely on the cloud. They will also have to find the best way to do it. And that will be economically as well as uh, time uh, consuming and space saving as well. So all the three types require coding, but the amount of coding differs in each of these paths that you choose for cloud computing. So I would personally say that uh, the cloud operations role and the cloud architecture role will have very less coding. But in order to become a cloud architect, you will have to have a certain years of experience in coding. So that will be ruled out. So you are left with the cloud operations path. Now let us see what the cloud operations path are in the further topics. All right, moving on, we'll be taking a look at the specific non coding roles in cloud. Okay, the very first role we have is the DevOps engineer. This role stands between development and operations. To land this role, you will have to learn some scripting language and Python. Scripting language includes uh, shell scripting, Perl, etc. Along with that, you will also have to learn Python language. Python language is the very basic uh, to get into DevOps. Even if you don't like coding, Python is a very uh, beginner friendly language so that you can learn intermediate Python and uh, you can get into the DevOps role anywhere. You will also have to learn scripting languages like uh, JavaScript, Perl and Python. One of the situations that will come up in your work will be to create, let's say, a Jenkins pipeline. And uh, Jenkins pipeline is used to implement a continuous development, continuous uh, deployment life cycle that is the CI CD uh, life cycle. Here you will have to be good at scripting to automate certain tasks in the pipeline. And let us take up another situation. Another situation is that 
uh, you might have to implement serverless computing by using uh, cloud services like the AWS Lambda or the Azure functions from uh, Microsoft. So in order to do this, you will have to at least understand the logic of the code in order to implement these services. Let's say even if you are copy pasting a piece of code, you will still have to understand the structure of the code to do that. So you will need to have some understanding of the code. And uh, next thing is we have the cloud administration role, uh, which basically means that you will have to be responsible for the authentication and authorization of users. Cloud admins also have to take care of the security of the cloud pertaining to firewalls, rules, SSLs, licenses, etc. So they will have to set up some firewalls in case there's any security issues. They will have to follow some rules set by the cloud providers. And finally, there is SSL. So they will also have to take care of website licenses and uh, many other things. Finally, we have uh, the cloud consultant role. Finally, we have the cloud consultant role. This is a not so technical uh, role in the cloud. Uh, they will have to meet clients and inform them about the various options that are available in the cloud. They will have to guide them in the right directions. You will definitely not need coding skills here, but you will have to know about technologies related to coding so that you can better assist the clients. Thank you for watching till the end guys. Have a nice day. Just a quick info guys, if you want to make a career in cloud computing, then IntelliPad provides an advanced certification on cloud and DevOps by IIT Madras. This course is taught by industry experts and IIT Madras faculty. This course is designed to upskill and land your dream job.